Good morning and welcome to another Tom Lamb video. We're going to be doing some round baling today because I want to get that done and out of the way so then we can move on to the square baling. So we've got all this to bale here, uh, we've got all the bales to collect. We're going to do about 400 today, get it done, out of the way. So let's get cracking. So he's up there. He's taking one of the other trailers. They're all in, they're all in packs. So that one's for like the big trailer. That pack over there is for the smaller trailer, which is loaded just there. So there's four trailers. I'm just loading them up, and he's taking them all back to the farm. Just got them few just there. These are the leftover ones, so we're two bales short. So we'll take these back and then the last few remaining across there, look, will fit on all the trailers. Oh, stuff everywhere. Ooh, we've got a delivery. What is this? What is this delivery? I'll get them out and we'll have a look. So these aren't the new oil tanks. These are who supply them. Um, these are all the different things that they do. So I'm going to make a frame for these and they all come with colour coordinated jugs as well to stop any contamination. So we've got hydraulic oil, then we should have tractor back end oil, which is like the hydraulic oil but gear oil as well. And then this one is engine oil extreme oil or whatever it is. So the with them actually supply you with these if you buy the oil off them. So we'll make a frame and we're gonna put them in the workshop. And um, yeah, then we can like make like a bit of a catch tray to stop any oil from dripping as well. And then what they do, they come with a tanker and they just pump it straight into the top. Cause usually they bring a barrel and you have to pump it out. Whereas this, you're just gonna be able to turn a tap. So this will be, this will hopefully be a lot better. And we've got some sight gauges on them as well. So we know how full they are with that. Because in a barrel, you don't know how much is in it. You have to take the top off and have a look. Whereas this, we know how much is left in it when to reorder some. So now we're back at it. Stacking them all in here for the winter. 400 to go in here today. That's what happens when you're not paying attention. It's only pulled the corner off, so we're all right. Pull them down. Just there like that. Do, 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 do. Just give them a little push, so it puts them in nice and tight, like that. And off we go. Back in the field. That's that lot all gone. The other stack down there, got a trailer next to it. I'll go do this one now with the other trailer next to this one up here. Off they go. Have these up here. Just on there, like that. Years of practice. Not going to bother putting a strap on them because I'm not going on the road. I'm just uh, pulling up to the yard, this yard over here with them. So they've only got to be moved about 100 metres up here. So. stacking some more in the shed and I'll do the same as well. We're filling up now. Just push them in a bit nice and tight. 
be stacking the single ones in. That's it, keep taking them off. Unload the next one. We'll get in there now. And then we'll put them two just there. You have to do like six at the bottom, one, two, three, well, don't have to, but you know, there's always an odd number. So you've got six and you've got five. So you have to put two in and then a one in and then a two in again, and then the top's got four. Well done. There you go. The other two JCBs have just gone to the field and stacking the last two trailers. Just teaching the wife how to drive a JCB. In a bit, push it, forward, forward. Go on, keep going. That's it, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. All right, that's it. That's it. All right, out. Oh, very good. On the floor this time. Get on the floor and push them in. Yeah. Yeah. Down. That's it. Go on in a bit more. Go on, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Yeah, I do. Just push them in a bit. No, you've gone too much. Push them in. Just boom out. That's it, that'll do then. Go straight back. Straight back or else you'll move them all. Just go straight back. Go on, straight back. There we go. I think she's got the hang of it now. Just remember when you're putting them at the top, don't press down too hard because it can, it can force them all out. Go on in a tiny bit. All right. Oh. That's not too bad. Lovely. Right, let's go get to doing, well, go and have a look at the baler, sorry. Here comes the pride of the fleet. Just gonna go get the last two loads of bales out of this field. big trailer. The 3065 on the big trailer. Just watch the winch at the front look. Not too bad because the round bales so it sits under there quite nicely. He's dropped that. There comes the other one. And the little tractor, the 3065, is taking it home. And there's the old red kite again. Flying around, come to get some food. She can go dive down in a minute. figure of eight at the moment. He comes round here and goes in. I come round and pick one up. And then he's stacking this one in here. So he'll back out and he'll come round like that and then I'll go in, then I'll go round so we're never in each other's way. There you see, look. He's going round like that. I now come in. He's coming out, I come in. Shove them down. Then I then come round like that. He's getting the next one. Last few now, nearly there. Right, the baler is off baling. 
Right, got it. All right. Oh, you're supposed to open that door. There we go. So I can hear what you're saying. Is that it? No, it's not. There's another field and it's twice the size. So we're gonna, gonna have to have a look at that now. And uh, hopefully after that, that is the round bales done for the year. I like to try and get them done first before we do the square bales. So it's just all done. Look who it is in the other JCV. Wave, it's Colin. Next field, twice as big. We've seen these round baileys working before in my videos, but let's have another look. So it's feeding it at the moment, picking it all up, and it's rolling it into a big ball, like these, where it's rolling it into a round bale. And then in a minute, it will stop, and then it will put the net wrap on, which holds it all together, which is just like, just like, well, what is it like? You can see it on those bales there, look. And it just keeps them water, fairly watertight as well, because when it rains, the water just runs off them. A bit like a house roof. There is he. Putting the net wrap on, that's the net wrap on, job done. Takes about two seconds to put the net wrap on. Another little insight into what we're doing today, bale carting, bale collecting, brown bales. So we'll get this done and we're going to get the square baler on and we're going to go do some square baling. We like different shape bales, different bait ship, different shape bales are used for different things. Obviously round bales, you can easily roll them out, whereas square bales, they, you can stack them a lot better. There's loads and loads of different reasons why there's different types of bales but we'll look at that in another video just want to show you how we're collecting them and sort of oh, sort of making them at the moment a bit bouncy in this field so yeah see you all soon let me know what you think catch you later